And here we are, back up at Konkan University in Northeast Thailand. This time we get to sync up with some students who are studying agriculture and go visit the agricultural fair where we heard a big shot cricket farmer is gonna be there slinging crickets. Aloy. So it turns out Pani used to be a dairy farmer before cricketing. <laughs> cricketing, is that a thing? It is now. So she's been cricketing for about 10 years and she has no intentions on turning back to the dairy life. She makes a lot more money and it's a lot less work. So then I asked her how long it took her to get into the cricketing business. Two days. Two days. That's it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two days. Wow. I had to travel all the way to Thailand. <laughs> okay, Penny and her family didn't make this two-day career change by themselves. They spent those two days at Khan Khan University taking a course led by Professor Yupa. Dr. Yupa. Dr. Yupa. I spoke with her. Who's responsible for some of the world's most leading research in insect agriculture, specifically entomophagy, which is eating insects. Deep fried grasshopper. Or in Penny's case, crickets. Everything you do is organic. Okay. The price, is it higher? High. Be because they're High. organic? Yes, yes. Uh, would she be interested in learning how to make it into a flower? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, sure. Yes. <laughs> I like this lady. <laughs> okay, let's get down to business. What if I wanted to buy like 500 kilos uncooked? Which, could she make that much? But she can. But she would need to know. Yes. In advance. Yes. Yes. She actually said she could make a lot more than that, as in five tons worth starting next month. She has the extra land and she knows people who are willing to work. All she would need is cement and egg cartons, which is all you really need to build a cricket house. So to get five tons a month from Thailand to America. Yeah, do I have to uh, export to other countries have a rule. Yeah. Yes. Tariffs and yes. gotta pass certain yes. inspections. Yes. A lot of Right. Yes. Right. Yes. But it's possible. It can but happen. It's possible. Yeah. Yeah, I don't expect shipping five tons yeah, of crickets from a remote farm in Thailand to the United States to be very easy. But hey, it's possible. It's a challenge accepted. I'll bring you to yeah. California yeah. to help with the farm. She said something that I've just been looking for since I got to Thailand. With her partner? Yes. Partner? Yeah. She wants my partner And this was the moment a partnership was made. Later we cut up some coconuts and celebrated. But to move forward, I have to visit the farm myself. So that's what's next on Flippin' Chapters.